Israeli scientists discover how to make elderly human skin young again. And they claim to have found way to make aged flesh youthful in lab rodents. This is from Jerusalem Post on WND. Have scientists in Haifa's Rambam Healthcare Campus and Technion Israel Institute of Technology and colleagues abroad, after two decades of research, discovered the fountain of youth? Question mark. This omnipresent human desire seems closer to fulfillment, at least in laboratory mice, on whom the researchers discovered a mechanism for rejuvenating human organs. Conducted by Dr. Aviad Karin, Dr. Yanim Karin, Professor Yehuda Ulman, Professor Amos Gilhar of the Haifa Institutes, Dr. Marta Bertolini of Monasterium Laboratory in Germany, and Dr. Ralph Paus, University of Manchester. The study has just been published in the prestigious journal Science Advances, published by the American Association for Advancement of Science, under the title Human Organ Rejuvenation by VEGFA, Lessons from the Skin. So using an old skin graft on young mice, they proved that it's possible to make skin and other organs young again via a change in molecular structure through all the layers of the skin. Now, uh, using the old skin graft on young mice, they proved it's possible to make skin and other organs young again via change in molecular structure through the layers of skin, transplanting aged human skin onto young mice with severe combined immunodeficiency diseases, SCID, that genetically affects both B and T lymphocytes can rejuvenate the transplantation of living cells, tissues, or organs from one species to another, they wrote. This is accompanied by angiogenesis, the growth of new blood vessels, repigmentation of uh, the uh, epidermis of the outer layer of the skin, and significant improvements in vital biomarkers connecting to aging. Now, reversing aging, they said, if one accepts the view that aging is an ultimately fatal disease whose progress can be slowed and reversed, and views aging as a druggable and uh, reprogrammable target, dissecting the key drivers of human organ aging and developing effective molecular strategies to prevent or even reverse it surely constitutes one of the most fundamental missions of biomedical research, they wrote. So to achieve this, they said, aging research models critically needed in which not only to key the key drivers of human aging of organs can be identified, but also the most promising strategies to prevent getting old and to make humans young again through drugs that remove old cells can be tested on lab animals before using on patients, they said. Human skin is ideally suited to such a preclinical aging result model, but it's rarely used by mainstream aging research for purpose. But aging of the human body first became becomes visible in changes of the skin, changes in the graying of the hair. And they said, while massive industry efforts therefore cater to the ancient human desire to halt or reverse the phenotype of aging skin, they said uh, success at this frontier remained moderate at best, and many product claims to uh, claims of in vivo in animal models rejuvenation of human skin are typically insufficiently substantiated. So aging uh, was where reversing when old human skin was transplanted on young CSCID mice confirmed that all layers of human skin could become young again, and in addition, the number of new blood vessels in the skin also increases. What they said. So I'll leave links below for you for this. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.